Alana providers and fellow dentists, how are we all today? I wanted to share a really, really cool experience. I had an opportunity to go and meet one of the masters of the Alina world. And what I saw was something that just absolutely blew my mind. And it relates to something that I often talk about, which is called the pit crew concept. So this absolute master and genius of the Alina world was, you know, treating his patients and his receptionist told him that a Chinese student from Newcastle has turned up who wants Invisalign. Her friend is having Invisalign at his practice, but she did not realise she had to book an appointment. So in those circumstances, what would we do with a packed diary? When I ask some of my friends this, they'll just ask the patient to rebook, sit and wait. What the master did was understand the opportunity. So he was able to ask that patient to go into another room where one of his colleagues was able to start the conversation about the practice and what makes them different. This master of dentistry was able to go into another room. At this point, when they had walked in, his colleague had already scanned that person. They'd already shown the simulation, taken the photographs. After an oral health assessment, an OPG was done. At this point, this master has gone to a different room to carry on treatment with his patient. Once that OPG was done, this master of dentistry was able to go back and see this Chinese lady. He was able to go through the treatment plan and then his colleague was able to finish the paperwork, arrange a clean check visit and move forward. What we see is this master had trained his team like a pit crew. One reason why I love the pit crew analogy is that a great, great author called Dr. Atu Gawande, who wrote a book called The Checklist Manifesto, has described that within healthcare, as teams, we need to operate more like a pit crew than any other team that exists at the minute. Because with a pit crew, at no point do we associate poor standards with speed and efficiency. When you have a pit crew and the car comes in, at no point are they saying, is this a petrol, is this a diesel, is this Firestone, is it Michelin? Everyone knows their role and it's about speed and efficiency. With this master, what we, saw, what we saw is how his team were able to be very quick and efficient and everybody knew their roles. That's because a huge amount of emphasis was placed upon training and upskilling. Simple question, can your nurse take, do a scan in under three to four minutes? Can your nurse take photographs? Can your team help you to see people like this Chinese student who had turned up. What we're finding with the masters is that they have empowered and upskilled their teams. So guys, what I'd love for you guys to do is think about your team right now and to decide what you can do today within your practice to really infuse this essence of a pit crew. How can we work collectively much more efficiently so when opportunities come, we're able to capitalize on them? So guys, if you have enjoyed today's content, please like, please share. Let's get the word out there, guys. Let's collectively come together, share ideas, best practice, and let's collectively unleash our aligner potential. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.